How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. It's been a little while since I've made a tutorial, so I thought I would uh, thought I'd do a little Premiere Pro quick tips. Today we're looking at Match Frame and why it's a very powerful tool that is probably very underused in your workflow. So essentially Match Frame, if we look at this timeline, I've got two interview angles and then a little bit of B-roll and some subtitles covering it. So it's a pretty straightforward edit. But if I look at these two B-roll angles, I think, well, those are two in and out selected events in my timeline, right? I can select both of these. If I select this one and double click it to load it up in the source panel, well then that will affect that particular event, right? If I were to, I don't know, shorten the in and outs, that'll shorten the in and outs of the actual clip, which is, I would call a destructive workflow. So what if you had, I don't know, something that happens in the original source clip earlier on or later on that you also want to include in your timeline. Well, a lot of people would open this up and then they would find the thing that they want, like this angle here, and they would go, okay, well, in and out. And then that, as you see, just completely screws up your edit. So what can you do around that? You're not gonna go into your project panel and navigate through all of your footage to find that clip, to then open it up, to then clear the in and out points, to then create new ones and drag that into your timeline. No, that's far too convoluted. Instead, what you can do is press F and that will match frame with the original clip using not only the in and out points of the selected clip in your timeline, but it will actually match to the frame that you're on if you were to need a specific frame reference. And so now I can go ahead and adjust these in and out points or just, you know, change them entirely and it doesn't affect the clip that's in the timeline. Now, another thing you'll notice is, for example, this clip doesn't have any natural sound linked to it, right? There's no audio clip linked to this video clip because I didn't include it in the timeline because I didn't want natural sound. However, if you did want natural sound, you decided later on or your client decides later on, as is often the case, that they would like to have a little bit of natural sound actually and maybe change things up a little bit. It's very easy for you to change that without having to pull your hair out to do so. Now, if you just double click this again and load up this event in your source monitor, you can see the audio is grayed out because there's no audio link to this, right? However, if you hit F for match frame, suddenly the audio is available because again, it's not looking at that event that's in your timeline. It's looking at the source clip in your project folder. So now because the in and out points are already set, you could just drag your natural sound down and it's all synced up. You don't need to worry about it being out of sync or matching the exact in and out points. They're there for you. So that's just a nice easy way of navigating your clips. If you've already started editing and you want to use multiple sections from the same clip without completely screwing up your in and out points and screwing up your timeline, um, just use match frame. Hit F, all right, let's drag this over here and let's take this bit of B-roll and bring it down. And now we have two different segments of B-roll from the same clip that are creating two different events in your timeline. All right, that's it from me. I said it was a quick tip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.